Hello, today we're going to be looking at how to make the petals for a paper flower like this for our laser cutter. So we're going to be making some designs like you see here basically, right? So each of these is a different size petal. We're going to only make three different ones, make a big leaf or petal, a middle size one, and then a small one. So let's jump right in. We are in on shape right now. We're going to, so we started a new file and we're going to say sketch and I'm going to select the top surface here. I'm going to be drawing on that surface, and then I'm looking down at the top there. And I'm going to hide some stuff I don't want to look at right now. I don't want to see all that other stuff. And I'm going to draw a couple lines here just to get started, making sure this one's horizontal there. And I'm going to draw another line starting from the center. This is going to be like what we're reflecting over. And you can see it's giving me some numbers there. I want to make this nice and big, you know, you know plenty tall for right now. These, uh, this one, I'm going to turn into a construction line because I'm going to reflect everything over that in just a second here to make it symmetrical from one side to the other. So let's start. Um, I want this flower to look, petal to look something like this maybe, right? And I want this line, can I force that? We'll kind of get that flat-ish there. All right, so now I have my um, flower, one half of it, I'm gonna simply reflect it. or will use this mirror tool to reflect it over that line as it tells me up here. And now I'm gonna select the things I wanna reflect and bingo, I got a flower petal there. All right, so first flower is done. Let's find out how tall that is. That's from that center mark to that bottom line. That is, you know, just about three inches, right? If you want to change that, you're welcome to. But I want to make another copy of this, so I'm just going to select all those things, dragging from left to right. Notice it's going to select all those with a, a yellow box there. Um, now I'm going to just make a copy over here. I'm going to put it right over there, and this time the next one I want to be maybe like four and a quarter inches tall. Notice it doesn't scale everything properly, but that's fine because I want things to look a little different this time. I want my flower to be a little, little different shape, so you can play with this, kind of make the shape what you like. You know, get the flower going again. Uh, maybe I want it a little wider at the bottom this time. Oop, 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 that looks pretty good to me. All right. All right. And we are going to make three of these, so let's copy that one more time. And we're jumping over here, and we're clicking over here, and we got this one. Maybe I want this one to be, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's do six, why not? And again, playing with the shape a little bit, making it a little wider. No, no, no. I want it to be like this, maybe. All right, again, you can make this any shape you want. Find some patterns you like online there and see what shapes they make there with the different types of flowers you like. All right. Now we have our three petals there. We're going to say OK. And there would probably be some people that would say there's an easier way to do this. But I think the easiest way is to create an extrusion to make these 3D. And I'm going to select the surfaces that I want them to be 3D. And I'm going to say, I'm going to make those to be pretty thin, like 0.1. They're pretty thin there. Now you can see there's my th three pieces there. And to, to get these files and export them, we are just going to right click on there. And it hides all those other parts that we don't need. And you can give that good a name, like small, right? And that's a DXF file because we're going to have to go into. Uh, Illustrator to convert these files into SVGs files for our laser cutter. And we got our three files, and then uh, we will go convert those, and we can laser cut that paper out uh, to make some flowers. Hope that helps.